This is module 50. So we're going to continue with our matrix um, information. However, we are done with solving the systems for this particular module. We're going to be learning a little bit more um, different things that you can do with uh, matrices. So one of the things that you can do is you can multiply a matrix by a scalar. A scalar is just in a number and it could be a real number or it could be an imaginary number. Um, there's no specification on that, but the scalar is a number. And how do you multiply negative two times the entire matrix A? Essentially what you end up doing is you end up multiplying every single entry by negative two. And so the result is going to be your answer. So I get positive 4, negative 10, 14, 10, negative 6, and negative 8. Now notice that A is a, and you do rows by columns when you're figuring out the dimensions of a matrix. So the dimensions here of A are two rows and three columns. So it's a two by three matrix, okay? And notice when you multiply by um, a scalar, you end up with the same dimensions, two rows by three columns. Now for subtraction, here you're adding or subtracting matrices from or to one another, okay? And in this case, the only way that you can do it is if both of the matrices have the same dimensions. Okay? So let's take the dimensions of A, and that would be 2 by 2. And then let's find the dimensions of C. This one is also 2 by 2. So they do have the same dimensions, which does allow me to subtract them. Um, in the Alex program, you do have the option of um, like does not exist or not applicable or um, undefined, things like that. If one of those is your options, the only time that you would select those as, as, as an option is if you're asked to add or subtract, but the dimensions don't match. Okay? Here they do match. So how do I take one matrix and subtract another matrix of the same dimensions. Essentially what happens is you have to um, subtract corresponding components. So notice that the first corner, the left corner here, it's going to be negative 2 minus what's in the first corner here. What's in the top right corner, 1, minus what's in the top right corner there. And then three at the bottom left corner minus what's in the bottom left corner over here. And then negative one minus what's in the bottom right corner in the other matrix. So this is just letting you know what I'm doing and then I'm gonna actually compute that. So I get negative two, I get that's one plus seven which is eight that's negative one, that's plus seven, which is six. And so this is the result. So here, this was my final answer. And so you do have to pick the matrix that has the correct dimensions inside Alex. Once you click the matrix that has the correct dimensions, then you can fill in the boxes for each component. So here I would have to select for my answer a two by matrix and then type in each of the four components. Now look at this one. This one says a linear combination of the matrices. So not only do I have to add them together, but I have to multiply the components in the matrix D by negative two and I have to multiply the components in matrix E by a six. So I'm going to make one big fat, um, oh and I do have to make sure that because I'm adding, right? They do have to have the same dimensions. And this is a 3x3 three three, and this is a 3x3. Three three, so they do share the same dimensions. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up and then I'll compute the answers. So I'm going to take negative 2 and the item, the guy for D, which is negative 4, the component for D in this position is negative 4, plus 6 times the component for E, which is 2. And I'm going to do this whole uh, column here. So then negative 2 times 5 plus 6 times negative 2. So I'm taking this component and this component for my second um, column. Now for the third or row, I'm sorry. For the third row, I'm going to take this component from D and this component from E. So negative 2 times the component from D plus 6 times the component from E. Now we're going to move on to the middle column. And I'll switch colors just to help you see things, okay? So I'm going to take this component from D and this component from E. They're in the same position. So negative 2 times 4 plus 6 times 1. Next, we're going to take the guy in the middle. So negative 2 times 4 plus 6 times 0. And finally, the one in the middle at the bottom. Negative 2 times 4 plus 6 times 0. And then finally, I'm going to switch the color again and do the last column. So we have the first component on the right, the first component on the right. So negative 2 times 5 plus 6 times negative 7. Then negative 2, here this guy, negative 4 plus 6 times that guy, negative 2 times 0 plus 6 times 5. And that's going to finish out my matrix. When I'm done, I should end up with the three by three matrix, okay? This is all one number, this is one number, this is one number, which will give me my three elements here. One number here, one number here, one number here, which will give me three elements in the middle. And then one number, one number, one number, which will give me three elements to the right. So let's see, when I multiply all of this out, now you can use your calculator. I mean, it's not necessary for this problem because it's not that too involved, but you could type in the entire thing, right? For each entry, for each line, you could do that. Um, but I'm pretty confident that I can do the arithmetic in my head. So negative 10 and plus negative 12 is negative 22. Um, negative 12 plus 18 is positive 6. Negative 8 plus 6 is negative 2. Negative 4 plus 6 is negative 8. Or I'm sorry, plus 0. Negative 8 plus 0 is negative 8. Negative 10 plus negative 42 is negative 52. 8 plus 18, that one I might need the calculator is 26 and then 0 plus 30 is 30 and so then when I'm selecting my answer I need to pick a matrix that is 3 by 3 and then type in all of the nine elements exactly where they belong now multiplying matrices is a whole lot harder and it is very confusing so I do have to write these steps out in order for you to kind of see what it is I'm doing, okay? So right now, they just want us to multiply and they want us to square. And you'll notice something very interesting. In regular multiplication, it doesn't matter the order in which you multiply numbers. Notice that if I do 2 times 3 in my calculator, or if I reverse the order and do 3 times 2 in the calculator, in any event, I still get 6. However, you'll notice something very different with matrices. When you multiply one matrix by another, the order in which these are written does matter. Okay? And sometimes you are going to run into situations where the product is undefined. Okay? How do you know if you can multiply matrices? Okay? We already talked about how in order for you to add or subtract, add or subtract the matrices, they have to have the same dimensions. Well, in order for you to multiply, it's a little bit more interesting. Okay, now explain. 
Here I have a two by two, and that's supposed to get multiplied by another two by two. The only way that you can actually multiply them is if the two dimensions on the inside match. And if they do, then you can multiply and the, the product exists and it's defined, okay? Not only that, is the two outside numbers in this order will tell you the dimensions of the answer. So the dimensions of my answer are going to be a two by two, okay? So for an example, let's say I had a two by three matrix and I had to multiply it by a three by one matrix. It is possible to do it because the inner parts match, right? But what will I end up with? I'll end up with a two by one matrix. This first dimension and that second dimension. Remember, this is the rows, this is the columns. And so that's what I end up with. That many rows and that many columns, okay? So let's go ahead and see, these are gonna work because this is a two by two and this is a two by two and when I'm finished multiplying two by twos together, I'm gonna actually end up with another two by two. But let's set it up, what does it look like? Zero, three, one, negative two times two, negative three, zero, negative one. This is where it gets really weird, okay? It's kind of like distribution but you really have to take into consideration what is going on, okay? You're going to take each one of these rows and correspondingly multiply it by each one of these columns. And you have to pay attention to which row and which column you're using because that will tell you the location of the answer, okay? So for the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do row one times column one. Row one is this row right here, one and zero, or zero and one. And then this column is two and negative three. So when I'm done, I need to write my answer in the first row, the first column, which means that answer will go right here, okay? Next thing I need to do is I need to multiply row one times column two. So when I do that operation, I'm gonna end up with my answer being in the first row, but the second column, which means my answer will go here. Then I need to take, that's it. I've already multiplied this whole row by both columns. Now I'm gonna move on to the bottom row. So I'm gonna take row two and multiply it by column one, which means my answer needs to go in row two for column. And then I need to multiply the other row. So I'm gonna take row two and multiply it by column two, which means I'm going to end up with an entry that goes in row two, column two, which is this spot right there, okay? So that will be the answer to my matrix. So let's do that, right? How does that happen? Okay, what you're going to do, I get zero plus negative one, which is negative one. For the purple, we're going to do row two now. So these entries times the first column so we have three times two plus negative two times negative three. What do we get there? We get six plus six, which is 12. And then finally, the last one is row two, which is this row times the second column. So three times zero plus negative two times negative one. We end up with zero plus two, which is two. And so the answer here for the problem is a two by two matrix, and it's just negative three, 12, negative one, two. So that's the answer for the problem. Let's compare that to the answer we get if we switch the order of the matrices, okay? So I'm gonna have two, negative three, zero, negative one, 
and then I'm gonna have 0, 3, 1, negative 2. Now without a computer telling me how to do this, I want you to watch how I use my hands to figure out the problem. I'm gonna take this first row and multiply it. Notice how I turn my hand over, right? So put your hand facing down and then you're gonna make it, your fingers, your fingers are in a vertical position right now. So you put your fingers in a vertical position with your hand, your palm facing down. Then you turn your hands to where your palm is facing up, but your fingers are horizontal now. And notice what my fingers are pointing to. Imagine my fingers are of the same length, right? Um, here, we'll do it with pins instead. And it also helps because you can see the color. So if I have this facing this way, notice that I have uh, these little clamps on here, okay? I'm gonna put the clamps facing up, just so you can kinda help you see, or we'll put them face down as if my fingers are face down. So let's pretend my fingers were the same length and my palm is facing down. Those clamps are gonna be representing my palm, okay? So the clamps are facing downward is the same as my palm facing downward. Now when I rotate, the clams or my palms are going to come facing up and my pins are now going to be horizontal. Notice that the purple 2 is going to get multiplied by the purple 0 and the green 0 is going to get multiplied by the green 3. And then I just need to add those numbers together. So 2 and 0 times 0 and 3, 2 times 0 is 0, 0 times 3 zero and if I add two zeros together I just get a zero. Now move on to the next column. So I'm still on row one so I'm still talking about these values here in row one. So two and zero times one and negative two. Well two times one is two. Zero times negative two is zero. Positive two and zero is a positive two. Here negative three and negative one times these guys. So negative 3 times 0 is 0, negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. So what is negative 3 plus a positive 2? That's negative 1. And so this is the answer for this product. Notice that these two are not the same matrix. So it doesn't work out exactly the same. For b squared, you have to remember what a square means. It means to take your item, whatever it is, and multiply it by itself. So I'm going to do 2 and 0 times 2 and negative 3. 2 times 2 is 4. 0 times negative 3 is 0. And 4 plus 0 is 4. 2 and 0 times 0 and 2. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 times negative 1 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. For the bottom row, negative 3 and negative 1 times 2 and negative 3. I get negative 6 and a positive 3, which results in a negative 3. Negative 3 and 1 times 0 and 1. Negative 3 times 0 is 0. Negative 1 times 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. And that is the answer for the product for the square. I'm going to stop the video here and I'll go with a more complex one in just a